what I'm gonna be doing today is the blower motor because my blower motor is going out intermittently. So we're gonna do that today. Um, obviously, I don't have this panel. It's sitting in the truck. Uh, when I bought the truck, I never you know, put it back on. But um, yeah, I'm gonna take this cover off and we're gonna go from there. I guess so I think I got the right size. All right, pop this sucker off. Yeah, she is pretty old. Check that out. So obviously there's a couple bolts that hold this puppy in. We're gonna take that out. For those of you guys asking me, I don't have a power tool. Well, I don't know where my kit is i think it's at my house let me grab the new one and there we go just like that and i'm also going to be replacing the resistor all right we got her out now i'm just going to clean this inside of this uh housing all right guys here's our new one just going to put them in there We're gonna line them up with these holes. I don't know what twerks exactly. It's a T20 is what these bolts are. really hot today florida is beaming today ladies and gentlemen it is beaming clean this little cover off remember guys before you put the cover back on connect put the connector in and make sure it works on all speeds resistor next all right guys so when you put this cover back on there's these there's these uh little there's an opening right here you want to line this up and then we just want to throw it back on just like that Honestly, after, uh, since I changed it, it definitely feels a whole lot better than it did, and it's definitely stronger. <clears throat> Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you where the resistor is. As you can see, it's right here, so we got to take these connectors off first.
just to let you guys know, these bolts are a 3 8 socket. Y'all can just see how old this resistor is. My God. All right, well, I ended up getting it off, so we're good there. Here's our new one. Now remember, you have two resistors. You have one for the front and one for the rear. Now, if your rear cab, the, the air control isn't working and you're only number four, uh, I guess speed is working, that means your resistor's bad. Now for me, uh, my parts guy told me that even if your AC is cutting out intermittently, it could also be your resistor in the front, but honestly he said that the resistor only goes bad um, and only one speed works. So you know, if only one of your speeds work, it's your resistor and it's pretty simple to do by yourself okay then the second connector which is right here goes on this piece right here let me clean this one off well, I hate things getting dirty but this is how it is this is a 20 year old truck so we're gonna slide it in and boom just like that I'm gonna slide this one on right boom there we go then we're gonna take our two screws or nuts put them right back on we're not gonna tighten them down like super tight just a little tight just like that there we go I'm gonna start the truck up one more time and just check to make sure everything works. All right, there you go, guys. Everything works. Air is blowing. Check all the speeds. Still works. And boom. So there you have it. That's how you uh, basically replace your blower motor and your resistor in your Fireliner Classic or FLD. All right, guys. So we're gonna replace the resistor in the sleeper gotta pop the bunk up and it will be right here in this corner piece as you can see that hole right here that's where it goes and uh, you see the pin so basically you just pop it back in and that's it you just want to put all the wiring back after you're done so all right guys so I just replaced it and it's blowing on the number one setting so it looks like the fix did work. We'll put the bed back down. Yeah, that's it, guys. That is how. That is how you replace your blower motor for the front, resistor for the front, and then the resistor for the rear. Because now it works on all settings, so it's perfect. I just want to throw this in there, guys. The AC is blowing so nice. Oh man, it's never blown this good ever since I got the truck. So definitely replace that if you need to all right guys so there you have it that is how you put everything in the blower motor the two resistors in the front and the one under the bunk that's basically how you do it it's not hard it'll probably save you some money you know just make sure you take this cover off there's uh one two three four five and then i believe there's six bolts on that side so it's a total of six bolts and then the cover is right there as you guys seen and it's that simple and uh my truck when i bought it didn't really come with the cover so all right guys so i just wanted to show you guys what else i did today i went to my mechanics earlier i didn't really record much as y'all seen uh but i just wanted to show y'all what we did we changed the uh the uh hose that goes to the brake chamber and we did the uh, drums and the brake shoes. So we did the hoses on both sides. And uh, then we did, obviously, the uh, blower motor, the two resistors. And what else did we do? We fixed this, uh, 
bag back here because it was kind of like tilted like it was kind of tilted like back here so we fixed that and that's all good so yeah i'm going monday actually i gotta go pick something up at the uh local chrome shop uh something came in that i've been waiting for and update on the hood situation i was supposed to get it painted today um but obviously i had to cancel since i was at my mechanics for so long so don't worry about that it will get handled soon um the tripods will be gone so it'll look a lot cleaner once it is finished i know everybody's waiting on it but you know perfection takes i guess you could say time um so yeah and then also as you guys seen in the previous video got the steering wheel on it's all good there and i cleaned the truck up a little bit later on down the road i will be replacing that is a uh uh, power steering filter for this reservoir right here for this reservoir right here um, I will be opening it up and replacing the filter in there and uh, then also replacing this fuel filter and uh, yeah guys so that is all the updates that I have for y'all today I hope y'all enjoyed uh, remember hit that sub button like the video and remember I will see y'all in the next one peace